here, we've got a crunch with our legs at a 90 degree angle. So when you're doing your crunch, make sure that your head and your chest are kind of coming up towards the ceiling versus coming forward. So just think about bringing yourself up. what are called bicycles. We're taking these ones pretty slow so you can extend one leg out and the knee that's staying in place you're going to reach your opposite elbow towards that knee. number three you're gonna lay on your back you're gonna bring both your legs up into the air and these are called flutter kicks so you're just kind of moving your feet from side to side and bringing your legs slowly to the ground and back up your obliques. As you can see there's a couple different options so you can bend that lower leg that's going to take a little bit of the weight off of your upper body and it's going to just kind of make the exercise a little bit easier if you're not comfortable bringing both legs out to the side at first. Walkout. So you're going to start standing tall, roll your head and your spine down and walk yourself out into a high plank, then bring yourself back up to standing. When you're coming back to standing, you want to make sure that if you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's totally fine. Um, you probably will feel a stretch in the back of your legs either way. Give us a follow on Sarah Fit on Instagram. 
Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs>